Hello everybody, today we're gonna talk about Amazon Q Business and Developer and the best way to demonstrate uh, these product superpowers and key capabilities is to run a demo and that's what I'm gonna do right now. What, what, what I'm gonna do is that I wanted to showcase how Amazon Q can help different types of persona to be more productive. So I'm gonna get started by playing a role of a sales manager that wants to understand more about the overall sales for uh, their their particular uh, unit and to understand the revenue. And the th first thing that I'm going to do basically is that I'm going to I'm going to talk to this spreadsheet. So basically, you guys can see that I have multiple records, including information on the sales across different regions uh, throughout the year. And now I'm going to understand better from how Amazon Q can talk with this document to be more to allow this the sales manager to be more productive. So first and foremost, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to ask a few questions on what's inside this file, right? So we can understand what can be done. And Amazon Q is going to provide like a summary on the findings and things that we, we, we I just showed within the within the Excel spreadsheet. So for example, uh, it's talking about that it ha has information on sales data from January to uh, December 2024 across different regions. And now I'm going to do a follow-up question to understand what's going on uh, with, uh, with the sales revenue, right? And as you guys can see here, here are the information we need. And um, I just wanted to ask a follow-up question now to write a narrative on the revenue train over the months so I can add to a report. And also what I can do is that, for example, I can ask additional questions and to do some calculation or to understand the percentage is pleasing the revenue between high touch uh, clients versus self-service uh, clients. And then what I'm gonna do is that to understand as of October, what's the percentage split in the revenue between high touch and self service customers? So I'm going to use again and ask this question. And as you guys can see, when Amazon Q uh, provides the output, it provides uh, the, all the calculations across different regions, uh, the breakdown. And this is really helpful to understand and even to talk to our to our doc uh, with our documents to to get some insights. Now I'm gonna play a role. Uh, I'm gonna play a role of a solutions architect that wants to understand how better to develop a new application on top of AWS. And for that, say I wanted to, for example, um, I wanted to build a new web application with AWS. And I wanted to understand what the options are, for example, whether or not using serverless versus containers and things like that. And Amazon Q now is going to play uh, is going to play a pivotal pivotal role to allow the the architect to follow the best practices when they, they are developing their web app. So here are the options, serverless. And the most important thing is that Amazon Q is trained on a huge amount of data based on years, uh, decades of experience with AWS. So it provides the right resources as well as uh, as well as the source of, to the documentation that supports that technical decision. And for example, say I wanted to, to go down the path on um, building uh, a new web application with containers without managing infrastructure, then what Amazon Q does is to provide all the uh, best practices and uh, kind of a recipe uh, so the solutions are that can understand what what can be done. And uh, last but not least, now I'm going to play a role of a, a developer. The most important thing to understand is that sometimes you know, our developers need to be more uh, uh, need to be more pro, uh, proactive. They need to be they they, they need to they, they gotta have the opportunity to uh, spend more time and uh, focus on the business. And, and then what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to open up. Uh, an IDE, uh, Visual Studio. And the most important thing to understand and the benefit that Amazon Q can provide is that, uh, for example, I can use Amazon Q for different things like automation to fix source code and things like that. For example, here I have a Python code 
where I wanted to understand better what's going on. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to send this to Amazon Q and ask Amazon Q to explain the call. So it's generating an answer. And here is what it does behind the scenes. So this is pretty much an application which connects to a large language model. And also uh, Amazon Q suggests follow-up questions and, mod and the models that we are using. And say I wanted to improve and to automate this and or I wanted to do something very specific. For example, I wanted to do a refactor to improve the uh, uh, cold quality. I can certainly ask uh, Amazon Q to su suggest and recommend a few things that can be done. And this is uh, something that can be really, really well accomplished by Amazon Q. It provides ways to accelerate the productivity for developers, architects, and also line of business. And that's all I wanted to share. Thank you so much for joining this session. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye.